he received more votes than any council person. And so his ward overwhelmingly supported him. Flint City Council member Tanya Burns speaking on the impact Eric Mays had on his community. Mays died last month and now City Council is working to fill the seat that he held for more than 10 years. TV5's Lenita Brooks spoke to those living in Mays first ward about the work he's done for the community and who they would like to see replace him. Lenita. Yeah, David and Meg, Councilman Eric Mays was overwhelmingly voted into his seat three times in a row. Now a small memorial grows at his seat as they look to fill and find his next replacement. What fueled Councilman Mays was showing up every day to fight for the people in the first war. That gave him his energy. That was his food. That was his life. The role to fill renowned Flint City Councilman Eric May's seat has begun after his untimely death last month. Friday, the city announced they will begin accepting applications for first war council member this week. Anytime the seat is vacant, we require per the Flint City Charter to make sure within 30 days. So there will be a person that will be appointed by the Flint City Council. Five votes will be required to appoint someone new. That person will serve until a special election is held and they are officially voted in. Several people have already expressed interest in the position, but six Ward Councilwoman Tanya Burns and longtime friend of Mr. Mays says it's going to take a special person to fill that seat. It has to be someone who's authentic, someone who's genuine, someone who has a passion for community, someone who will be bold enough, articulate enough to speak truth to power. Residents I spoke to from the first ward agree. He did so much and he was always hands on. He always put himself on the front line. It's going to be real hard to find somebody to uh, fill these shoes. Because you ain't going to, it's only one like that, that he was more of an activist than he was a politician. And any cause that, that went on in the city, Eric was always there. And can't nobody fill them shoes. And members of the first war have until Monday, March 18th to apply. Applications can be dropped off directly to City Hall or emailed to cityclerk at the cityofflint.com. We're live in Flint. Lanita Brooks, WNEM TV5.